My name is Chawe Hope Amal from Jinja, replicating Sina in Inyenga Foundation. My name is Kamia Charles and uh, I'm coming from Nyenga Foundation, which is close to Jinja. Hello, I'm Nata Rebecca. I'm, I'm a replicator from Nyenga, that is Wikwe. I've managed to to learn and, and learn some things like mindset because one of the sessions we had was growth mindset and fixed mindset. So I've started. I've I've managed to unlearn and learn some things in my life now. Three months has been have been um, a great learning journey for me and unlearning journey because uh, coming here on an environment that is quite different from what we perceive like normal, like to be different from the normal education setting that have ever gone through, this compound is quite different in a way that um, youth are empowered to come up with social enterprises that are reflective and for me it's really a big takeaway to understand the values to use uh, the methods and tools that I can uh, do to support my peers and also the communities where I come from. My three months in Sina at Jangu, they've been so impactful, very life changing and very transformative. We've interfered, we've interfaced a lot of people, we have learned very different terms, very different ways of how life works. We've met coaches one on one, we've met mentors and they were also mentoring us to become mentors. Uh, we've uh, learned things like holocracy, we've learned roles, the responsibility, responsibility, mindset change, a lot. My major takeaways, uh, first of all, is uh, the welcoming um, atmosphere at Jangu International, where there is space uh, in the sense of holocracy uh, system of governance. There is free space where people expertise, experience, learn and um, expose their abilities to try out different departmental challenges and opportunities to become better persons. My major takeaway is mindset where we had growth and fixed mindset. My another takeaway was um, the assimilation session where we were given the canteen to run it, the entrepreneurship experience uh, and the comfort zone challenge. My major takeaways in the three months have been firstly how teaching takes place in this place in this very place. It's different from how it is done in the outside world. Here we learn in a very practical manner. As they are talking about project management, you already have a project on your hands to manage. As they are talking about structuring, you've already tried it out and your implementation. So we study with implementation. It is not a lot of theory like it is there in the other side of the world. Uh, when you are here, you get the ability and the freedom to express yourself. So it boosts a lot of self-esteem and uh, you get a chance of talking to different people, share experiences, teaming up, finding out your weaknesses and your strength, working upon them, working with another person so that your strength can complement their weaknesses and their weaknesses can be complemented by your strength, which is very good. So there was a lot of interpersonal relationship and learning. Uh, there was a lot of project formulation, how to run a business, how to think critically, how to do design thinking, getting associated, uh, also associated thinking where we were supposed to get different concepts, add them together and then come up with a practical, applicable project to solve a community problem. My three months of applied, like I said, have been uh, a very informative um, uh, moment where uh, I learned a lot to do with my personal development because I'm a person who is mentored to become uh, a social entrepreneur but also a replicator of social innovation in the community where I come from. So uh, working on my personal development uh, meant a lot in line with the reflections that I am going to be a face to 
those that do not have a chance to come to Social Innovation Academy. So I feel the three months have shaped me into that person that will give in my learnings and uh, experiences to better the communities where I come from. Wow, this was very nice. We've applied, we've learned a lot of things like working in groups, um, <clears throat> entrepreneurship experience, uh, NVC, nonviolent communication, because when we came here, there are things that we didn't know that we used to practice out there, but now we've managed to unlearn them. Uh, we've managed to learn um, active listening. If you want, like, there are signs of listening. We used not to know, like, uh, when someone is speaking and you attentively listen to them, it's a sign of respect. You're encouraging them to communicate what they are communicating. They'll know that at least they are communicating sense. So it was very interesting. So my major takeaways in Applied, it has been the holocracy kind of uh, community setup. And then also uh, my other takeaway is how learning takes place in this place. As I explained earlier, there is a lot of empowerment here. So by the time anyone leaves this place, they are a changed person. And my other takeaway is about social entrepreneurship. Uh, whichever project that is leaving this place, it has the ability to cause an impact to the community. Uh, I'm literally going to use uh, this knowledge to impact the community where I come from because I feel like uh, my learning experience here has shaped me into that person who is more enthusiastic about change. I'm this person now who thinks about how best can I solve SDGs and mostly the SDGs that are in relation to the community where I come from. So I really feel like I have to be a cross bearer to carry on my learnings and then implement them to the community where I am coming from such that we live a sustainable life together with my community mates. Uh, since I'm a replicator, I'm going to present this whole model to my community. It has given me a chance to take all this here to my community Nyenga and that's where I'm going to impact it. In the next one year, I envision my team and I going back to Rikwe in Nyenga to implement such a, a project where we shall be giving youth in our community a chance to also study what we have studied, to come up with social impactful projects to work on. The right moments that I've had at, at Sina and Jangu International are those moments when uh, everyone gets a good reception to whoever comes around. Even when you're a stranger, you will feel like uh, this is a place that you've lived in for quite some time. So for me, it's a very, very big takeaway, especially when we have to work as, uh, as, as a globe at large, regardless of who is coming from where, regardless of the differences that we have in the colors and the structures and so forth. So it really gives, it has given me a good reflection on how um, on how I can present myself regarding my interpersonal skills, experiences, and also forecasting about life and the life of, of others.